All right, this is uh, Grade 3, Module 3, Lesson 2. We're going to be using the distributive property and the commutative property to understand those big multiplication facts. Specifically, we're going to work with the sixes right now. Um, you know, students have a really hard time sometimes memorizing their, their big facts, like the sixes. Uh, for example, uh, they might have a problem with, uh, let's say, 6 times uh, 7. Okay, So the idea would be, so 6 times 7 we know is 7 6 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we're going to add those up. Well, that's kind of con convoluted and that's a lot of work. And so what we're going to do in this lesson is to have uh, take advantage of the fact that students often know their fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So they know their fives. So let's use their fives to help with the bigger ones, like 6, 6 times 7. In this case, what we would do is we're going to be teaching kids that, okay, they can take these five sevens and make that 5 times 7, which is 35, and then add an additional 7, 1 times 7. So instead of doing 6 times 7, they would do 5 times 7, which is 35, and then add 7 to that and get 42. And then the idea would be uh, they could also use the commutative property. Now that they know that 6 times 7 is 42, they now know that 7 times 6 is 42. All right. So that's the whole concept of this lesson is using the distributive property to take a big fact and break it down to something more manageable. So we're going to start with that. Uh, so each box has a value of 9. So essentially they're saying this is 9, this is 9, this is 9, this is 9, this is 9. So we're trying to do unit form means um, we want to figure out the answer for five nines. That's what they mean by unit form. And that's kind of unique to Engage New York, that, that concept of unit form. Uh, so we have five nines. And the idea is the fact that we're trying to solve is five times nine, which is also nine times five. So that's the commutative property. And uh, since adding up nine, uh, five nines might be convoluted for kids, they might rather think of their fives and instead skip count 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. And of course, they're holding up their fingers each time. So they're like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 5 times 9 is 45. That means nine t uh, 5 times 9 is 45, which means 9 times 5 is 45, and that's the whole commutative property. So if they don't know one, they could do the other, and it's the same answer. So this is the second part of that same question. So these are all nines. So we know that this is nine, 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 and nine. And so the unit form over here is six nines. Now the reason they've broken this up is because they're showing us that here, is 5 times 9, and here is 1 times 9. So instead of doing 6 9's right here, we're going to do 5 9's plus 1 additional 9. So we know that 5 9's is 45 because we just did that in our previous slide. So 5 9's equals 45 plus 1 extra 9 means we're adding another 9, and 45 plus 9. We could count on our fingers if we wish, or we could use the uh, number bond. Take uh, 45 plus 9, change that 9 to 5 plus 4. So 45 plus 5 is 50, plus 4 more is 54. So that's a nice, quick, efficient way of adding. Or we could have added by 10 and then subtract by 1. Anyway, so the idea is we now know two facts. We now know that 6 times 9 is 54, and we know that 9 times 6 is 54. And we did that by taking our 6 times 9, and we changed it to 5 times 9 plus an extra 1 times 9. Now, this stuff down here, students do not need to know how to do this quite yet. 
Uh, at this point, we're still kind of basing everything on number sense and using manipulatives like these cubes. And our last slide for this video is actually two problems. I'm just going to squeeze it into the same slide. Uh, for question two, it says there are six blades on each windmill. How many total blades are on seven windmills? So use a fives fact. So this concept right here, use a five facts, a fives fact, may be a little new to teachers and to parents. Uh, so let's do that. So each windmill has six blades. And so that means we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven windmills because it says so. Oops, yeah, and each of those windmills has six blades. So that means we're going to be adding six plus six plus six plus six plus six plus six plus six. Okay. But then the directions say use a fives fact because you might not know uh, seven times six because that might be a little too big for our students. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to use a fives fact. So, so let's see, we've got one two, three, four, five. So that right here is five times six. And then up here, we have a two times six. So we know five times six because we know our fives tape fives. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So we know that this is 30. And two sixes we can do is 12. So we know that seven times six is going to equal 30 plus 12, which is 42. Now, by the way, now that we know that 7 times 6 is 42, we know that 6 times 7 is 42. Now, number 4, this last question down here, says uh, Mark Huo. I'm going to call that Mark Huo. That's a cool name. Mark Huo spends $27 on some plants. Each plant costs 9 bucks. How many plants does he buy? So the idea would be, let's kind of do a skip counting or addition. So first we have 9. If we add another 9, that's 18. If we add another 9, that's 27. Done. We now know the answer. Uh, three groups of 9 equals 27. So nothing really fancy on that one. At this point, we don't want to use division. If students know the division problem, you know, 27 divided by 9, more power to them. Uh, but this is not about division yet. Uh, this is really about using repeated addition to eventually get to 27. And so the answer is 3. And that is Grade 3, Module 3, Lesson 2, where we're using the distributive property to break a big problem, like 7 times 8, into something smaller, like 5 times 8 plus 2 times 8. Of course, they're not doing this official thing quite yet. They're thinking about it like towers, and they're, they're doing like the um, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, and breaking that up into 5 times 8 plus 2 times 8.